Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back, good fellow sports TV in the building, talking about acceptable duckers. Another edition, first 2019 edition. This had to be done. Talking about Errol Spence being one of those acceptable duckers. Acceptable duckers are basically fighters that get a pass for ducking uh, from a certain fan base or group of people. We back in the building. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And uh, we working, man. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, thehellblaze.com. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. You get 18% off in addition to promos and discounts they run. You still get the 18% off. Lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, hair pomade, natural deodorant, you know, foot soaks, the whole nine. Go check them out. They got a good array of products. And use my promo code. That's basically telling them that I sent you there and you get that discount off um, their products. So go check them out, all right? Uh, but yeah, you know, Bobby Aaron, they basically blast Al Heyman and Al Heyman, Heyman is a deflector shield for a lot of them, these fighters, these fighters use and hide behind Al Heyman because he just make moves. He don't say much at all. Al just make power moves. That's what Al does. Al is not going to come out here and rebuttal to Bob Aaron verbally. He just continue to make moves and he right. You know, those fighters don't even fight each other and they don't want no smoke with Terrence Bud Crawford. And that's just the actual fact of what I've been told and what I understand and what I know to be factual. And, you know, but say, to get into Bob Aaron once again, I did a video earlier about it. Bob Aaron was in the same position. If he had uh, Crawford, I mean Thurman, he had Thurman, Spence, and Porter, and Al had Crawford, he wouldn't be trying to make a fight with Terrence Crawford at all. You know, Al Heyman is the king of in-house fights. You know what I'm saying? He popularized that in this era, but I did a video on that. I already spoke on that. It won't sound redundant. But like I said before, Errol Spence claimed to be his, his, his own boss, but then again, he had Mayweather come out here speaking for him, and I said he did it intentionally, and said they, the fight not happening, okay? He came out and had Tim Smith or Tim Shaw or Hal Heyman Boxers come out and speak for Al and say, we're not doing that fight right now. He came out on that talk, that boxing talk show you guys listen to every morning and said he not he don't, he going to clean up his side of the street, okay? You know, after saying that, he opened the door for this type of talk by going out there and indicting himself similar to AJ. It's a lot of parallels to AJ here, too. So you don't know what parallels is similarities. AJ came out here and said he wanted Deontay Wilder. He wanted to fight Wilder, but he didn't want to fight him. Same thing for Errol Spence. Oh, Bob Irum smoking mirrors. He ain't gonna give me Terrence Crawford right now. And you know, he on the wrong side of the street. And he had like he wanted to fight him. And Bob said, Well, come on, man, let's sit down and talk. And then they come out, Mayweather come out and said, he come out and said, Tim Smith, Tim Shaw, out him in boxes come out and said, Derek James came out and said it. You know, that they, they ain't looking to fight uh, Terrence Crawford. They looking to fight Thurman and Porter uh, first, but Thurman and Porter ain't trying to fight them. So if you can't get that fight, if you about collecting all the belts, you supposed to be Free Smoke Jr., not some Smoke Jr., you should fight Terrence Crawford. He not willing to fight Terrence Crawford. They doing the old Mayweather trick, which is aging out Terrence Crawford. So Earl Spence can have the best opportunity to win. And I believe before that happens, Terrence Crawford, like he said before, and Bo Mack said before his coach, manager, and cook, said that he would retire before you know, if they wait too long, and that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to age out Terrence Crawford for Earl Spence can have the best chance of beating Bud Crawford. And also in the process, he's trying to make up a five a five year disadvantage that he had. Crawford's been five years more has five years more pro experience than Earl Spence got. And they trying to get that experience by fighting Mikey, by trying to get Pacquiao, by fighting Thurman, by fighting Porter. But the problem is Porter and Thurman don't want to fight you. If they don't want to fight you, we don't care about seeing you in meaningless, voluntary and mandatory fights. If you got a guy out there with a WBO belt that want to fight, why not go make that fight? At least call his bluff and see if Bob Arum and Top Rank is being real and factual about trying to make that fight. But he came out and had every represent, representative uh, from uh, PBC or whoever represented Errol Smith come out and say that they don't want that fight for Earl right now. That's not the fight they looking to make for Earl right now. And so be it. That means he's an acceptable ducker and his blind fan base, the same fan group of fans out there, who's blasted Anthony Joshua for not fighting Deontay Wilder, they got their own duck from Dallas. Duck Dallas, duck Dallas Dodger Errol Spence. He ducking er Terrence Crawford, and that's just a fact. I like Errol Spence, but bullshit is bullshit. Behind the scenes, his coach said he didn't feel like he was ready for Terrence Crawford yet. He needed more seasoning, which is understandable. Crawford been boxing as a kid. 
Crawford been five years more professional, five years pro, uh, uh, more pro than Errol Spence. He turned pro in what seven? Spence turned pro in 2012. So I understand it's an experience gap. They feel that Bud Crawford is a very tough fight and a very tough style for Errol Spence to give him all types of problems. You know what I'm saying? One minute he confronts Terrence Crawford and say he's his own boss, and then he said, "Well, Al want me to fight, you know, Porter and Pacquiao and and these guys first. If you don't have nobody to fight and, and Terrence Crawford is available, why not get a fence what they want to see? Unless you feel you're really not ready, and they don't feel that they're ready. You have people come out here and put my name in videos and say, "Oh, you on some sucker shit? It, it ain't a lie. This is a fact." It's a fact that Mayweather came out and said they wasn't doing that fight. It's a fact that an employee from Al Heyman Boxing, Tim Smith, Tim Shaw, came out and said they ain't doing that fight. It's a fact. It's on wax. All these on video. On wax, Derek James said, no, they ain't not looking to fight, make the Terrence Crawford fight. It's on wax that Earl Spence came on that talk show and said they ain't looking to make the, Earl, the Terrence Crawford fight. He on the wrong side of the street. So where's the lie? Why ain't nobody jumping on his case like y'all jumping on Keith Thurman or y'all jumping on, on El Errol Spence? I mean, like y'all jumping on Anthony Joshua, jumping on Amir Khan, not fighting for, not fighting Kell Brook. Bob Irum not lying, bro. He not lying here. He lying on Al Heyman. Heyman ain't the problem. Errol Spence is the problem. Errol Spence and his camp don't want it. They don't want all the smoke. They some smoke junior. And a lot of these dudes leaving this story alone, they're trying to fabricate y'all, and they're trying to play glitz and glamour, flash in the pan, and talk about Mikey, rightfully so. But the real the real storyline here is homeboy sold smoke. He sold bo being the boogeyman. And when it came down to putting his boogie with his man and getting down like Ace Boogie with the hoodie, you know what I'm saying? When it came down to put his hoodie and be Ace Boogie with the hoodie, you know what he did? He took his tail. He put his tail between his legs. He took his Al Heyman money and act like Terrence Crawford and say shit. Oh, I was in negotiation with Sean Porter and Porter didn't want it. And, 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 you know, I had to settle for Mikey Garcia. Motherfucker, did you call a top rank about Terrence Crawford? No. And I'm going to go back to something somebody said, somebody, somebody said a long time ago. And we laughed at his ass too. And we still take shots to Kenny Porter. Kenny Porter told you guys that Earl Spence was a no boogeyman. He was protected. I didn't understand what he said at the time, but he is a protected fighter. Al Heyman is protecting him from Terrence Crawford, but I'm not going to blame Al Heyman because if Terrence Crawford, I mean, if Errol Spence really wanted to fight Terrence Crawford, Al Heyman to make the fight, Al Heyman ain't sitting there saying, no, I don't fight him. If these dudes really want to fight other fighters, man, Al Heyman allowed it to happen. He'll draw the contract up and he can make it done. They didn't want Adrian Brown to fight Marcos Madonna. He let the fans vote. He fought Madonna, and, and, and Floyd came out and said, you know what, A.B. should have just stuck to the plan. You know, A.B. should have just stuck to the plan and, 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 and fought who he, who he wanted to fight. He shouldn't have deviated from the plan. But you know what, Adrian Broner had balls. Earl Spence is scared to lose like Thurman and Porter. You can't blast Thurman and Porter and you ducking the man. You hold no weight. You you lost you lost your you lost your substance. You lost, you know, you lost you lost me. You lost me there. You crossed me. He lied to all his fans. Come out here with this free jokes, free, free smoke junior shit. This facade he put on, this character he put on. He put on this Errol Spence costume. But when he put his cape up and take his mask off for the night, he ain't no fucking free smoke junior. He's he's a fraud. He's a fraud. And that's real talk. A lot of motherfuckers ain't getting like that. But that's that's the fact. He's running from Terrence Crawford. Now, had he came out there and just said, I want to fight the best, I want to continue to get experience under my belt, and, you know, those fights happen down the line, I'm cool. You kept, it, you kept it 100 with me. But you out here assassinating Keith Thurman character, assassinating Sean Porter character, but you running from another motherfucker. How does that work? How does that work? You assassinating other people's character, right? But then again, you 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 a hypocrite. You're doing the same thing Keith Thurman and Sean Porter doing. You running from Terrence Crawford. Oh, I'm just trying to get all the belts and be the A side, and I am I don't I don't feel that, bro. I, I didn't ask for Mikey fight. If if, if Crawford was a villain, I should have made the fight happen. They don't want to fight him. But y'all know what it is. Goodfellas Sports TV, first edition of uh, Acceptable Duckers in 2019. It'll be in our duck playlist, man. Um, check it out. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter. Also, can reach out through the email. We got a Facebook group. Also, you want to make a donation to the channel. That link's there as well, too. Share the video, share the video, share the video. That's a must so we can gain more notoriety and get our subs up and get our weight up. Y'all know what it is, man. 
Um, don't forget to check out the Patreon for a lot of raw, uncensored talk. I got a video I dropped last week on the Patreon about this, man. $2 a month for boxing fans. You want that intellectual um, relationship, food for thought, hood series type of talk, gutter shit. That's a $5 tier. Check that out as well, too. Don't forget to check out the Hellblaze, thehellblaze.com. Use my promo code Goodfellow Boxing. Goodfellow1Boxing, both in the description. Get those natural products.